Hi, this is Claude Whitaker at the Sweeper Store in Worcester, Ohio. One of the questions that we get a lot from our customers is, should I get a bagged vacuum cleaner or a bagless vacuum cleaner? Well, that's a very, very good question. It seems like every vacuum cleaner you see advertised today is a bagless vacuum cleaner. Well, here's the deal with bag and bagless vacuum cleaners. Originally, maybe 20 years ago, when the bagless vacuum cleaner was first invented, it was a vast improvement over the bagged vacuum cleaners and here's why. Because all bagless vacuum cleaners have exactly the same kind of filter. All bagless vacuum cleaners use a HEPA filter. This is a modern HEPA filter, one that's sold today. Now they might, the HEPA filter might be shorter, wider, fatter, slimmer, it doesn't make any difference. It's always exactly the same material. These filters are extremely efficient. No air, or I'm sorry, no dust and no uh, dander or anything. Nothing goes through these filters, so they really do filter quite well. And so originally it was a vast improvement over the bags that were available because the bags that were available were simply uh, paper bags. They didn't have a lot of filtration and they, and they didn't filter out a lot of the dust and, and bacteria and germs and, and, and particles that you want to keep out of your house. Well, what happened eventually was uh, some of the higher end vacuum cleaner companies found out that they could actually manufacture bags that had a HEPA filter lining. For example, this is a cutaway of a bag that's in our typical uh, vacuum cleaner that we sell at the sweeper store. It's actually a, from the Rakar brand of vacuum cleaners. And I cut this off right here so you can see on the inside, hopefully you can see that, there's a HEPA filter lining on the inside of this bag. And that's the way a lot of bags are made nowadays, is there's a HEPA filter lining on the inside of the bag. The bagless vacuum cleaners originally were an improvement in the filtration. Here's the bad thing about bagless vacuum cleaners. Two things especially if you have pets, but this is true even if you don't have pets. What happens is the, the pet hair and the, and the, the dust and the, dead, and the pet dander and, and all the particles, see they get stuck on the filter, it clogs up the filter. So in other words, it slows down the air going through the filter. So even though no dust is going out the exhaust, you're slowing down the air th airflow going into the motor and then going out the exhaust. Well, that's bad for a couple of different reasons. One reason is it slows down your airflow, so there's not as much air movement picking up the dirt, so you're not going to be cleaning as well if you use a bagless vacuum cleaner and use a, a filter like this. Uh, the, other, the other bad thing is that um, when it slows down the airflow, your hoses have a tendency to clog up a lot easier because there's the speed of the air going through. It doesn't keep the hoses really clean. They tend to get clogged up a lot easier, but that's not the worst part. The worst part is that is the back is is these clog up what happens is the air getting to the motor to cool the motor is being restricted so that all motors generate heat especially uh... more powerful motors which the better vacuum cleaners have very very powerful motors they all generate heat well what happens is the air that's cooling those motors is not getting to the motor if you're using a bagless vacuum cleaner now at the sweeper store here at worcester ohio what we get do is we vacuum we we service a lot of vacuum cleaners Unfortunately, we get this almost every day. Somebody comes into the store, they have a bagless vacuum cleaner, uh, they've had it for three or four or five years, and the motor is bad. The motor is shot. Well, the reason that the motor is shot is because air couldn't get through the filter, air couldn't get, therefore air couldn't get to the motor, the motor's overheated and eventually they, it wore out the lubrication in the bearings, eventually the motor just went bad. We have to either replace the motor or they have to replace the machine, unfortunately. The other benefit of using a bag that has a HEPA filter lining is you can throw out the bag. Okay, I have a question for you. I actually ask this question to customers and they, they always, the, no, it doesn't bother anybody. I ask them, do you have trash cans at home? And they always say yes. And I say, well, do you put bags in them? And they go, yes. And I say, why? Isn't bagless better? And they go, and then they kind of look at me kind of funny and I go, well, no, I guess it isn't. You know, well, why do you have bags in your trash cans? It's so you can, it's because then you can take the trash out, the dirt, the filth, all that. You can take it out in packages and throw it away in the trash or take it out to the dumpster. That's a lot better than dumping out a filter or banging the filter out like this on the inside of the, on the inside of a trash can and all that dust flying up in your face. It's just a lot more sanitary to have really high quality filter bags much much safer much more sanitary and if you have dust allergies a lot better for you because that dust isn't going right back up in the air but the last thing is this it's less expensive to use bags than it does is to have filters this one for example is twenty nine ninety five if you have pets you should change it maybe every six months if you don't have pets maybe once a year twenty nine ninety five a year let's say now most HEPA filters are they, again they're all different sh sizes and shapes the least expensive one that we have is nineteen dollars ninety five cents the most expensive we have one we have is $59.95. I think this one's $29.95.
Well, if you change this once a year, you couldn't possibly spend that much money in bags. You couldn't possibly spend that much money. So having bags saves you money, first of all. It also doesn't restrict the airflow going into the motor, so the motors last quite a lot longer. It's also more sanitary when you take it out and throw it away. And one of the things that we do is when you buy a Recar vacuum cleaner here at the sweeper store, what we do is we give you a dozen micron filtration HEPA filter bags for free just for buying a vacuum cleaner from us. Okay, please come down and visit us at the sweeper store at 2799 Cleveland Road in Worcester, Ohio. I'm Claude Whitaker. My wife Cheryl and I will be looking forward to seeing you. Thank you.